more technological shit from BrainFeed. Today we're going to show you how to modify an external hard drive from being connected to your computer from USB to external SATA connection. Now the advantages of that are uh, external SATA is way way faster than USB. With USB you'll only get like 60 megs a second transfer, with external SATA you should get up to 300 megs a second. Uh, the disadvantages to that is you will avoid your warranty, you can fuck it up and break your hard drive if you don't know what you're doing, and uh, you're probably gonna break your case while you're opening it, because, well, these cases aren't really supposed to be opened. We've sort of already broken the pins on this. So, yeah, what we have done here is we bought an external SATA cable from eBay, because we went out to our local computer store and we got a quota of 18 euros for one. Then we got on. E then we got another one on eBay for three euros, which was kind of a bargain. Subsequently better. Subsequently better indeed. So we're what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get a Dremel or something that does precision cutting, and we're gonna get this little component, which is basically an adapter plate. SATA to USB converter. SATA to USB converter. Yes, and uh, it's also the power. It's also the well, piece that provides power to the hard drive. So we're gonna get this bit, and we're gonna cut, cut off the SATA connection from it, and keep the the SATA data connection from it, and keep the SATA power, because without that it won't work. And then when that's cut off, all we're gonna have is SATA SATA power, and then the USB connection converter will be replaced by an eSATA, which should make the transfer much much faster. Let's get to work. Before we get cutting, uh, I must tell you this is an experimental video, this is the first time we're doing this, ever. And uh, in case I fuck up or anything, don't start leaving hater comments. Yeah, we don't wouldn't really appreciate that much. Alright, let's get cutting. One side note, um, we actually have looked this up on the internet, haven't found much about it, so... This is either going to work really well or not at all. Or FIRST! Yeah, let's so... Start, let's start doing it. Safety precaution. <clears throat> Wear glasses. I already got shards of plastic in my eyes. Of course, we would have said this before the video, but that wouldn't be cool or yeah. something like that. Now this SATA data <laughs> bit should just snap off. Which it just has done. Which it just hasn't yet. Which it just has done. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this in and see does our eSATA cable fit. This is, there we are. Which it doesn't. That means I need more to do more cutting, like get to getting rid of this plastic bit here. Uh, we'll continue the video when I have all this nice and cleaned up. After five minutes of intense cutting and sanding, what we have done is uh, we have removed this piece, which is the SATA data piece. This is the actual important bit, and. Uh, I've sanded off the remaining piece of pieces of plastic, so our external SATA cable can, uh, has loads of space to move around. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in this little power bit. We're going to plug in the SATA data. 
into it, which it goes into nicely, and plug it into the cameraman's laptop. And finally, for the most important step of all, the power. This is the moment of truth. If I could get a drum roll, I would, but we can't afford it. You can hear the hard drive spinning up. Seems to be working. There we are. Gavin Seagate, it's there. And all the files are there. Oh, let's transfer. Oh, open source. Okay, let's transfer that to the desktop and see how long it takes. It's 4 gigs, so. Well, transfer speed is 157 megabytes. Okay, so what we've accomplished here is uh, we modified an external hard drive. That originally used USB. That we used USB into having three times its its data transfer speed with uh, with a Dremel, a, a pen knife, and uh, three euros worth of parts off eBay. I see it's a pretty successful mod. Now uh, you could put it back in the enclosure, and that's what we're gonna attempt to do. But we're not sure it's gonna fit because of the cable. So. We're going to try to do that, and if we fail, we're just going to leave it the way it is. But it's a mod successful. Thanks for watching.